Babylon. Dit as I refer to Bahia and Fernando da Cruz, this is the Matthew, or Matthias, I should say, Matthias Botzinger Dex from Murky J and Conjuring Arts. There is a fruit deck and a wig deck. The front of the boxes, you just see some patterns which represent the back design basically. This one has red and black fruits. And this one, it looks like, it looks like a bunch of writing, calligraphy. I guess it's supposed to be like a wig. I don't know. Mat Matthias Butzinger is uh, someone who is famous, well known. Um, I believe he's out of Russia. Who was, um, or is it German? I think it was Germany actually. That makes more sense. <laughs> um, yes, he was from Germany. And he was uh, a magician and performer and actor and, and a whole bunch of things who apparently was armless and legless or at least handless and footless. So that's pretty interesting that he can do all these things, especially magic without actually having hands or most of his arms. And uh, Ricky J wrote a book about him and produced these decks to go alongside with that. Conjuring Arts released them together as a set, but it was pretty expensive, over a hundred bucks or around a hundred bucks, whatever it was. I mentioned shipping, so I passed on it. But a couple weeks ago, Conjuring Arts was nice enough to release 150 of the remaining decks. That's all they had left. And I was able to grab them. So there we go. That's the front. Nothing on the sides or the top and the bottom. It just says Ricky J. Matthias Butzinger. I'll tell him it was Buckinger or something like that. And uh, manufactured to exacting standards in Taiwan for the expert point guard company, New York, New York. You can probably find these on eBay, but they're not going to be cheap. The back, this one, you just see the same pattern. This one has the fruits. And then the seal is a stamp style seal with a portrait of that guy, as you can see. It's from the 1800s, by the way, in case I didn't mention that. So it's pretty cool. The top cases are made of that synthetic paper material. It's plastic. It won't rip or tear or bend or anything like that. It's very good. I recommend it. But only it's a, you cannot get it for Legends point guards, only for expert point guards for whatever reason. Next we get to the Jokers, which actually says not a Joker on top and has the stars in the corners. It says Matthias Butzinger and his name is also a mirror image on there. And you see him. Guy with no hands or feet. And one of those weird 1800s wigs. <laughs> Pretty interesting. The other one's the same thing, but not a Joker. The back design in this one is just that pattern with the fruits and borderless. Very simple. The Ace of Spades is also simple. This uh, style of spade that, and again, Matthias. But singer and the reverse mirror image thing. Court cards, fairly standard, but they've been customized slightly. They've got like really old faces. I guess we're trying to make it look like the deck is from the 1800s. Very interesting. It is custom slightly, but fairly standard. And the number cards are just standard. I'll show you the other deck quickly. The faces are identical. It's just the back design is different. There's this pattern, and it is a one-way back design. If I reverse it, you can see that right there in the corners. They are different, which makes it a one-way. I don't know why, but they did that nonetheless. Anyway, let's move along here. So for this deck, these decks, I'm reviewing them together for the, it's basically a set. Um, I would have to say for the back designs, I'm just gonna say, Four out of five. They're okay. Uh, really kind of looks just kind of like a full sub thing for this one. <laughs> and this other one, you know, similar. And this one actually looks pretty cool when you fan it out and everything. It's just got that one way element, which is a little bit the same and just 
it's interesting. I don't know why it's called the wig deck. It's obviously not inspired by wigs, but probably inspired by his wig. <laughs> Faces, fairly standard. Um, so I would say... 4 out of 5. Handling-wise, uh, as you can see, it handles... You know, pretty good. It's a typical expert point card company stock and finish. This one I've used a bit more, so it's a little bit more clumpy. And it has not gotten better. So I'm going to say maybe four and a half to one three quarters out of five for handling. It's a smoother type finish that they use, even though it's got some embossing. And anyways, overall, you know, I'll say four, four and a quarter out of five, they're okay. They're probably more expensive than, gonna cost you more money than you really would want to spend on a deck of cards, especially at this point since they're no longer available, but they are pretty limited. So I guess you got that much going for you. Um, if you really want them for your collection, by all means. But for, you know, magic or cardistry or practicing, obviously not recommended because it can be too expensive for that. Anyways, that is that. Um, check out my sponsors, collectiblepointcards.com, playingcards.net, and cardporn.com. Links and discount codes in the description box below. Comment, rate, subscribe, let me know what you think. That is that. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.